sick of this. Well, think about this. He's a world leader in temper tantrums. She never loses her cool. She prosecuted sex predators. He is one. Grab him by the She shut down for-profit colleges that swindled Americans. He was a for-profit college. At Trump University, we teach success. Literally. He's owned by the big banks. She's the attorney general who beat the biggest banks in America and forced them to pay homeowners $18 billion. He's tearing us apart. She'll bring us together. This is Trump. And in every possible way, this is the anti-Trump. So if that's what you're looking for in your next president, there's really only one. Kamala. Hey, hey, YouTube family. How you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me. All right, guys, this is going to be a double header. Um, I just finished working out. I'm about to have a nice protein shake and a little chicken salad. And uh, I wanted to record a couple of videos for you because there's a lot going on and I could not wait. I just couldn't wait. So I'm glad to jump right in and let's record this video. And we're going to, these are two topics that I think that we're going to find, you're going to find very interesting. So this first video is on um, my pick of the president and VP on the Democratic Party ticket. I think it's Kamala Harris and Governor, uh, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. I think these two, that's a winning ticket. I believe the way this country is going, and we're going to talk about it, anytime that there's been a complete assault on uh, women's reproductive rights, it is crazy. And then I think about Project 25. So we're going to get into that in this video. Typically, like I told you guys, I don't like talking politics, but because these are historical times, I'm faced with the only, the only choice I'm faced with is to just be honest about my views and come out with it, pow, pow, tell the truth, and then um, let the chips fall where they may. And uh, okay, so let's move on to the second uh, video too. The second video will be on uh, Miss JLo. JLo is out doing healthy bike riding. I saw on X, she actually was going on a bike riding with Ben Affleck's daughter, older daughter, and she's going and she is still wearing the wedding ring. So I think JLo just refused to let go. So we're going to get into that in the second videos because I'm like, okay, now let's look around. Where the hell is Ben? Where's Ben? So uh, we're going to get into that in the second video. All right. So let's get into um, the Democratic Party. Joe Biden has stepped down uh, and he has endorsed Kamala Harris. Now, there is some debate back and forth whether or not Kamala Harris should actually prove herself and join the debate, uh, let, let the delegates decide at the convention. That, I think, um, it sounds good in theory, but I gotta be honest with you, I don't really care because I believe, I honestly believe, if she picks Governor Whitmer to be her VP candidate on the ticket, I think Vice President, I mean, yeah, Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Whitmer, they can run the board. I do believe that. You know why? Because there's been a deliberate rollback on females' reproductive rights. Now you get my age, it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, we're not having children anymore once you get of a woman of a particular age, and you know what I mean. Um, but younger women, they are they're waking up and we need to speak out against that and fight against that. There is a really, and it's weird. I don't understand this whole debate about a woman's rights and what's going on with her body. I mean, who the hell is gonna tell me what to do with my body? No one. So I don't understand that, I really don't. And then this Project 25 is shocking. Now, I'm not going to go down the list of Project 25 because I think you guys know what's in it. 
if you don't just pull it up in the internet. They want to uh, imprison women who get an abortion. They've got these really weird, I don't understand this whole religious right and Christian thing, because that's not God. That's not God, that's man. That is mankind, flawed men and women. That's not God-like. And then you turn and look at others and judge them. It's just all bizarre to me. I don't get this whole, I don't understand. I don't understand it. So it freaks me out enough where I will vote for any woman. I think that Kamala Harris and um, Gretchen Whitmer, I think these two can run the board on Trump and his ticket, the, the Republicans. I really do believe that. Now you guys let me know what you think. You may disagree. I wanna see what, who do you think could be the winning ticket? Do you think it's Kamala and Buttigieg? Or do you think it's, uh, they should go to the convention and let it be Newsom and someone else? I don't know, you let me know. One thing I can say is that this is energizing the party and I'm excited about that. I, I you know what? As long as we get someone in office that's other than Trump and though, I'm sorry. And if I got Trump supporters, it, I got to shoot straight to you, pow, pow. I'm not a Trumpster, sorry. I, I know because all of this crap with the Supreme Court and now a president can commit crime and be immune, you know, be protected from it. Uh, from being prosecuted and then these uh, rollback of women's reproductive rights. No, 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 mm -mm. no. So I got to shoot straight with you. Absolutely not. So it looks like the Democratic Party is, I think that it will become more and more energized as we keep moving on, you know, moving forward. But in my view, I think that uh, the Democratic Party should be courageous and put two females on that ticket, especially during this time right now when there is an assault on women's reproductive rights. There's an assault. They're rolling back all kinds of stuff. Did you read Project 25? Pull it up and read it for yourself. All right. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I hope you like that Kamala Harris um, intro video. That was pretty interesting. I'm like, they were ready. They were ready. So you guys leave your comments in the chat. Let me know what you think, and I'll chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao. Mm-hmm.